Welcome to Cool Happenings. Everything I find cool and amazing. Your one-stop channel for all your accessible tech solutions. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Ok, welcome to Cool Happenings Tech Accessibility Channel and now we are progressing with the iMovie Podcast Series Part 3 and in Part 3 we will talk, uh, talk about and discuss how we may duplicate a video, okay? Or to duplicate a video using iMovie for iOS is pretty simple. So this demonstration is going to be rather short, but short still nonetheless equally as interesting and beneficial. Right, so without further ado, let's proceed. I will now navigate to iMovie, so let's um, go there, okay. double tap to launch. Selected projects button. Now as with all other demonstrations, you'll be placed, after launching iMovie, you'll be placed in the iMovie workstation or the, yep, the editable section of the movie iMovie app. So swap till you get to add project or trailer. Add project or trailer. Double tap. Selected projects button. And navigate to till you find add movie. Add project or trailer. My movie two. My movie one. My movie. Cancel button. New project. New project. Movie button. Movie button. Double tap. Media back button. Now you are again, once again, taken to your camera roll. So let's select a movie to duplicate. So let's select a video here. Moments. Heading. Cancel button. Select button. Yesterday. Created August 22nd, 2019. Duration 7 minutes 31. 1 seconds. Okay, it's a 7 minute 31 second video clip. So that's, you need to, you have to remember the, when you go through to the camera roll via the iMovie app, the videos, even if you have, you know, uh, labeled them, will be shown you as unlabeled. It will be displayed as the date and time. So you need to be if they know the what which videos are basically what the videos are or you will have you won't be able to you know correctly perform editing on the videos you would want to edit so in this case uh, since i do not know what video what video this is yesterday created august 22nd 2019 duration 7 minutes 31 1 seconds okay it's a 7 minute 31 second video clip, I'll select it, select on the date, where it says the date and duration for so one finger double tap. Created August 22nd, 2019, duration 7 minutes 31, 1 seconds. After double tapping to select, place your finger just above the home button, you will find the option where voiceover will say create movie. Created August 22nd, 2019, duration 14 minutes 50, 0 seconds. Create bullet, create movie. Okay, you hear create movie. One item. One item selected, swap left. Create movie. Double tap. Return to project list. Now you are taken to project list. back to Button. iMovie workstation. I call it the iMovie workstation because here is where you will do all your editing. So once you are back to the iMovie workstation, um, you need to 
navigate till you find the video. The video will be again displayed without a title but just as a date and duration. So let's look at the video once more. My movie 3. Help button. Created August 22nd, 2019. Duration 7 minutes 31. 1 seconds. Okay, as you heard, it mentions voiceover will mention the video date and duration. Double tap. We need to double tap every time before, after taking an action. You need to double tap to reselect the video. So one finger double tap. Created August 22nd, 2019. Duration 7 minutes 31. 1 seconds. Adjustable. Okay, you after selecting, you will hear voiceover say adjustable. When voiceover says adjustable, you now can adjust the start position of the video. You do this by swiping uh, left and right on the iPhone screen as if turning pages in a book. So you, by this way, you'll get to the beginning, the middle and the end position of the video. So let's do a three finger. I will try doing a three finger swipe right. Page one of 73. Okay, page one out of 73 which means there are 73 well i wouldn't say 73 pages but that's how it works page one would be at the beginning of the playback screen so now let's swipe um to you have selected the video let's just listen to what the video is all about because i too have no idea what video this is let's swipe to you know, navigate to play 31 insert media button insert media Previous clip button. Previous clip. Play button. Okay, double tap on play. Previous clip. Play button. Play. play. Okay, by the way, this is uh, another video I created earlier for the Cool Happenings uh, uh, YouTube channel. So it doesn't matter, it's still a video. Although not recorded using a video camera, it was created using audio and an image, but it's still an MP4 video, right? So what you do is, once again, locate the video, you need to reselect the video one more time. Previous clip, insert me, 7, created August 22nd, 2019, created August 22nd, 2019, duration 7 minutes 31, 1 seconds. Adjustable. Okay, once your voice was say adjustable, it means you have selected the video. Now put your finger just somewhere above the home button. You'll get the options to either you know um you to select the video, to split the video, to delete the video, and you also get the option to duplicate the video. Detach button. Detach if you swipe left. Split button. Split. We are not going to split because we are not going to do. Um, any uh, video trimming. If you're going to trim the video, you'll need to split the video first. But since we're going to duplicate, swipe right. Detach button. You can detach. We're not going to detach. Duplicate button. And here's what we want. This is what we want. Duplicate. Double tap on duplicate. Detach. Duplicate button. Duplicate. Okay, we have double tap on duplicate, so now let's see what we have. Detach button, split, detach, duplicate button, duplicate. Okay, we have double tap on duplicate for the second time, so let's see what we have now. Detach, split, De left trim knob for created on undo button, play button, previous clip button, insert media button, 22, 31, dot 3. You see now it's 22, 31.3, which means. It's been duplicated and you get the total duration a combined. Both videos combined, 7 minutes, 31 seconds, you get something like a... It's 22, 31, 22 minutes, 31 second video, right? Created August 22nd, 2019. So, duration 7 minutes, 31 seconds. Now the good thing about duplicating videos with iMovie is the movie gets duplicated and it's placed back to back which means the video will play back to back one after the other as you can see here you see it's clearly messy it mentions it by time you know 
created August 22nd, 2019. Duration 7 minutes 31 seconds. Okay, this is the video, the, 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 uh, no, the original video before duplication, if you swap right. 22, 31.3. Okay, this is after duplication, and it, it basically puts the video back to back one after the other. It will be placed from left to right in the playback screen, and you get the total duration 7 minutes 31 seconds plus 7 minutes uh, 31 seconds. But since I tap three times on duplicate, so it's 7 minutes 31 seconds times 3, which is 22 seconds and what you hear here. Created August 22, 31, 3. 22, 31, 3. 22 minutes, 31 seconds. I know it's basically now you have three videos which I have, uh, you know, unintentionally created by double tapping on duplicate three times. But it doesn't matter. We have, but instead of duplicating, we have, uh, uh, how should I say, it, uh, created Three, I know, three identical video video clips with this one uh, process, and once you have done that, you can then share the video. Let's you need to share it. You need to go back. Return to project. Return to project list. Okay. Button. You tap on return to project list. Play button. Button. Now what you do is find the share button. Player play overlay. My movie three. Twenty two minutes thirty two seconds. Bullet August twenty third two thousand nineteen. Twenty two minutes thirty one. My movie, 22 minutes, 32 seconds. Okay, 22 minutes, 32 seconds, which is three video clips combined. And three video clips will, will play back to back if you, you know, share it this way. So what you do is, let's locate share button. Edit, button, play, button, share. Share button, double tap. Can't airdrop recipient, no one found yet. And Edit. that's it, you get the usual share sheet will pop up. Airdrop. You can then with people nearby. If they turn on airdrop from control center on iOS or from Fiverr on the Mac, you'll see their names here. Okay, so what you get to do is you get to share the video to other apps, built-in apps installed on your iPhone, or you may also save them to any cloud-based apps like Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, um, Mega, and other cloud-based storage apps you have installed on your iPhone. Easy and very simple to do using iMovie for iOS. So that will be all a short demonstration part 3 of using iMovie on your iPhone or iPad. It works on iPad as well with voiceover screen reader and we will proceed with the next part or part 4 in the coming future. Okay, let's see all again. Have a wonderful day ahead. Don't forget to hit the uh, the like button for the other added extra added motivation to our accessibility team and subscribe to receive notifications whenever new important videos are added. Alright, till I see you again. Peace.